Hey, this is driver 88. The other week we checked out the Slams Bentley GT owned by Adrian Portelli that was built by the boys at Prestige Auto Works. They've also recently done a G63 for Troy Candy, of which they also own one themselves. Raz and the guys have got a whole bunch of builds that I'm going to check out today because they've got lots of cool stuff that is up and coming, including a 7 second Audi R8. They've just recently put a whole bunch of mods on a mental RS Q8 uh, with Mansory parts and urban parts. We've got an SVR, we've got a Stage 2 Urus, all sorts of good stuff. Let's check it out. So Raz, you've been moving into the uh, SUV world a bit more lately, the fast ones. Yep. Uh, you've been working on Urus's. What can you tell me about this build here? Uh, so this Urus has got our PAW Motorsport 2 package. Now what that is, is your downpipes, your tune, and your cold air intake. So that's a, just a basic drive in, drive out. Now there's a lot of other things you can do to this as well because mm -hmm. they've, these have a problem with heat soak. So you do a few runs on the dyno and after about three, four runs, it actually starts to kill the power. It pulls back timing, okay. pulls back power and all that kind of stuff. So um, you can do the intercooler upgrades on them yep. as well. So, um, and you can also, look, we haven't done one yet, but you can do um, water injection, methanol injection as well to mm -hmm. keep the temps up. Um, that's, I guess, for all the four litre twin turbo V8s in the, in the VAG car. So whether it's a, a Lambo, uh, whether it's a Urus, RSQ8. whether it's a um, RSQ8, whether it's a RS6, RS7, all the all those cars, yeah. So, yeah. so how much how much power with just sort of so this, this one setup? actually made just over 500 kilowatts, 505 yeah. kilowatts at all four. Yeah. Um, and it made an extra 160 newton meters of torque from memory. But yeah, uh, what that translates to on the road though is like, I guess there's a, it's a lot more responsive, but it's also mid range and. A little bit more top end, but mid range is like a mountain of torque, man. Yeah, like it's yeah. full on. Yeah, <laughs> um, nice. and, and the good thing, but people always say, oh, Urus, Urus is just a, an RSQ8, but yeah. it's, it's actually not. Yeah, I'm it's... gonna say, I'm gonna say it now. Urus is actually not just an RSQ8 yeah. with a with a Lambo badge because yeah. I find that these actually are a little bit more raw. I don't yeah. know what they've done with the suspension, but they're yeah. a little bit more raw. Um, a bit more sportier. Yeah. Is it worth the, uh, the extra price tag, the 200k on top? Probably not, to be honest with you. But I if mean, if you want the ultimate SUV, it's probably. If you if you want the ultimate SUV, I mean, fuck, I don't know if I'd call it a Urus, bro. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd probably get a G wagon like the one, like my one. Speaking of um, the G wagon made behind you, this Best is your one. car. Is beast. Yep. Yep. The top G. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. <laughs> what have we done to this guy? So, I, I'm gonna. Oh, we've done everything except <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the bonnet. It's actually at the panel beaters at the moment. So yeah. So if you have a look, we've done the um, the front bar. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, the bull bar. Yeah. We've done the um, urban automotive lip. These are all genuine. Yeah, this is not AliExpress knockoffs or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, we've done the uh, the driving lights, which are very very bright um and also the the wing on the back absolutely oh, these guys up here yep those lights up there the wing on the back because it needs that extra downforce you know? of course it needs of course it needs it <laughs> especially when you're going off road And wheels and tyres? Wheels, you can tell they look a lot different. <laughs> Your yeah. standard wheels. Yeah, I've slightly. got the Vossen, so these are actually um, a collaboration with Vossen and Urban. Uh -huh. um, and I've also put some mud tyres on there. Yeah, nice. Had to modify the car a bit to make the mud tyres fit, but. Oh, that's right. the other thing I wanted to say. You actually use this thing properly. Yeah. Maybe I'll put some footage of you actually yeah, going off road. We'll, we'll upload it. I saw the video of you absolutely thrashing your G wagon yeah. after you just had it tuned. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. But 
<laughs> this car is an absolute beast off-road. So we took it to one of the off-roading training parks in, in Victoria. Yeah, it, it dominated the mountains. It did, did well uh, through the rivers as well. I've got the factory tires on there at the moment. We put some mud tires on there, courtesy of the boys from Faulkner Wheels and Tires. After that, I took it to, I took it to my detailer and he said, what the hell have you done here? Would have been a nightmare for <laughs> It was a nightmare. It cost me a lot awesome. of money to clean it, but yeah, it was good. It doesn't, it just, it. doesn't it, just sit on Main Street, which is cool. It's actually pretty tough, man. Yeah, um, and what about and, uh, power? So power-wise, this made 500 and 30 kilowatts at, at all four. Jeez, um, so this has got our um, stage two, but the full stage two setup is you've got ECU, a CPC, so it's a second ECU. We've done the transmission, um, uh, the transmission tune as well, and we've also done the Quicksilver cap back as well. Yeah, well, let's um, just get to that. That so looks sweet. It's a bit banged up when I went <laughs> off-roading, but bro, that's all. That's all. That's all. all that's ever copped. That's, yeah, yeah. The car has been, you know, immaculate. Yeah. Even after, even even after I go off roading, it's pretty it's pretty sick. So yeah. The other thing with the Quicksilver as well, and this is my gripe with them. I, tell, I tell you one thing, Ollie. What you need to do, <laughs> and I've said it to you before on the phone. Um, the two tips that come out the side, uh -huh. they don't go out far enough. So what yeah. we've done is we've, we've we've extended the two tips. Yeah. But I've also added a, a third tip on there as well. Yeah. Um, I've done uh, Troy's uh, Troy Candy's one. I've done his one with uh -huh. three tips. And here we've got the custom triple tips on each side instead of doubles. So this was all done by Prestige Auto Works. They did an awesome job. This Quicksilver exhaust sounds absolutely banger. But, um, but other customers, we've, they've wanted a fourth tip and it looks pretty, pretty aggressive. So, yeah, I bet. yeah. We'll get under there in a sec. Hold on. Have a look. The first tip is a fake tip, but as, as you can see. Yeah. But um, I, hopefully Quicksilver listens to my um, to my request and, and puts a... a, a a proper tip in there. Very cool. Um, are so, little... roughly, roughly, what do you think the Urus would maybe run on a quarter mile just to uh, segue? Um, that's a good question. I don't know why maybe my should... Urus customers don't come out to the track with us, man. That would be good. That would you know be what? good. If, if you're if you, if you own a Urus and you come here and we've tuned it, you got to you got to come to the yeah. track with us. Good idea. You good know? idea. We should do a day where we all take all these cars out. I mean. Look, it, it's a lot of these cars are daily driven cars, man. But yeah. but the um, the good thing about it is that they're reliable, mm -hmm. they're fast, they sound good. I mean, wouldn't you want to know how fast it goes down the quarter? Yeah, you know at least I mean? at least once. Yeah, <laughs> and you can come up against me. In yeah, the exactly right. As well, exactly right. So this um, apparently wannabe Urus <laughs> is um, is a completely different car now, man. So this car came in completely stock and stock height, stock everything. Um, the owner wanted something very unique. Now we put the full urban body kit on this car uh, that comes with the side splitters, uh, the, the front lip, 
Um, it also comes with the side skirts, the rear spoiler, um, all that kind of stuff. Now, one of the biggest things on this car that you will notice, one of the first things you'll notice is the, is the bonnet. Now, this is not from Urban. This is actually from Mansouri. Um, it's a very, very, very expensive bonnet, but have a look at it, man. It's just insane. I mean, it's not even that clean at the moment, but it's actually amazing. So the, um, the carbon weave on it is actually spot on. It's perfect. Um, I can't fault it at all. It's actually an amazing, amazing car. Um, so the other thing we've got here as well, what we've got going on is obviously the, we've got the Vossen wheels. Um, these are 20, the 24s. Jesus um, and we've also, now the, the thing with these wheels is it was very, very hard to find tires for it in, in this particular size. So we actually had to buy these Redestein wheels, uh, Redestein um, tires, had to get them from Italy. It's like a thousand bucks each. It was yeah. Ridiculous. Um, plus import duties and all that bullshit. By the time we got them, it was over. It was like almost six grand in tires. Um, but we couldn't find the tire size, man. Like the the no, no one had actually done anything like this before. So yeah. we're all about doing the first of a lot of things here. Um, what about suspension? Suspension-wise, this has got this has got airbag suspension. So. All you need to do with these things is you to get a set of lowering links, um, put them in. Um, the good thing about suspension on these is you can actually, when you take it out of RS mode, it lifts it right up. So if you put it into comfort mode, it lifts it up by about almost two inches. So it's actually quite comfortable to drive and you can you don't have to worry about speed humps or anything like that mm -hmm. as well. Um, it, we've had it wrapped as well. Yeah. Uh, the boys at Prestige Wraps did a very good job on this. So this car is originally gloss black. Yep. And it's also got, uh, but we've gone with the, the satin black PPF on the top of it. Did an amazing job there. Um, mm. Oh yeah. So if you have a look at the, if you have a look at the exhaust on this, this is um, the Acropovic uh, catback exhaust. We've mated that up to the um, to the the downpipes that we've put on there. Now the, the good thing about this, so the difference, so if you actually have a listen to this compared to a uh, completely stock Eurus, this is a lot louder, um, but I'll be honest with you, I think they, they sound very, very similar. Um, but I also feel like this is a little bit deeper as well. Don't ask me why, because we've actually set this exhaust up the same way we would set up any Eurus with a stage with a stage two. So. Um, a lot of Euruses and the Performantes, um, they come with the Acropovic exhaust, this exact exhaust system from factory. Mm -hmm. um, we've added the, the Acropovic to this car and then done our stage two on it. This one just made under 500 kilowatts. Yeah. Um, this one has got a lot of, uh, uh, a lot more mods come into it as well, but it's also got the intercoolers on there. Um, we're putting a set of big turbos on there. Um, we're aiming for a thousand horsepower mark at the engine. So that's, it, hey, what's that? The engine bay? Engi oh yeah, let's have a look at the engine bay. It's actually quite pretty under there. So. The full Eventuri intake on this as well. Um, there's a lot of carbon, man. It also comes with the uh, the intake pipes to the throttle body. Um, it, it's a very, very clean looking system. And on top of that, man, like if you notice that, I mean, this 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 system's been on there for well, it's quite some time now, quite a few months now. And the carbon that they come out with uh, from Eventuri doesn't yellow up. You know, if you see on those cheaper. Yeah. Um, those cheaper intakes, they, they start to become yellow and well, discoloured. Well. Yeah. yeah, or anything from AliExpress. I mean, no knocking AliExpress parts, but they are pretty shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, there's a lot more coming with this car. We're doing a full. So, um, what turbos would you put on it? Uh, so we're actually going a TTE turbo setup. Um, yeah. What 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 we're doing is we're doing a custom exhaust, uh, custom fuel system on this as well. Yeah. Um, something that's never been done before. Um, we're, we're going a water methanol injection set up as well because not for any, not we're not using the water meth for actual power. We're actually we're just needing to keep the intake temps down. Yeah. Bro, the, the the thing is with the the intake temps on these, it just 
um, after two or three runs, like it just it just starts pulling back timing. It's just getting too hot, um, which is a good look. It's good that it does. The ECU is smart enough to do that to so keep yeah to protect itself, um, but it's actually annoying as it from a tuning uh, standpoint. So. I've noticed, mate, we've got another blackout here next door. <laughs> so the, um, the one that says under eight over there, there's a, that's a big call, <laughs> yeah, but that's what we're heading towards for this car. So, okay. um, well, eventually, this is going to be uh, at least a year build. At least a year, because we're going all out with this. We're, we're flying, we're actually flying over to America um, to uh, speak to the, uh, the manufacturer for, for, our v, for the twin turbo setup on this. Um, the goal is to go minimum 2,000 wheel horsepower. Um, really we want to build it to go 3,000 plus um, and we are thinking of doing something because this is a rear wheel drive car but uh, okay. but I mean we're, one we're going to be struggling for traction but two I feel like uh, to get I mean to be competitive um, amongst the big boys we need to have all wheel drive. Um, but when we go to when we go to the states, we're going to be speaking to a lot of people over there, and we're going to get their opinions. Uh, we we haven't done sorry we haven't done a we haven't done a, two, a three thousand horsepower build car ever. So the and it's not it's not it's not a bad thing to ask for help from people and um, yeah. for other people that have done it as well. Um, but we want to break some records. While we're uh, while we're here, you know. So, uh, so yeah, this is completely stock, 2020, last of the V10s, um, Audi R8. It's got all the options. It's got carbon fibre. Um, it's actually a beautiful car, man. Like yeah. we took it to Phillip Island in a stock form, and it did pretty well. I mean, for amateurs like us, I think it did a 150, 156 around the around Phillip Island. Yeah. First time it'd been out, street tyres. Um, I thought that was okay, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was good. What about this next another satin black car? It's, uh, Range Rover Sport, Sport SVR, yeah. So this this is a Range Rover Sport SVR. Um, you have a look at this one. This this customer came all the way all the way from South Australia. He's entrusted us with his car. Um, that's yes, it's Queensland plates, but he's bought it from Queensland. He um, he's, he's entrusted us with his car. He said, "Raz, I want it. I want it to be mean. I want you to go all out on it. Do what you can to give it a give it a birthday." So we've done everything that you can do to make this thing an absolute weapon. So what we what we've done here is we've got the all right aesthetically. What we've done is lowered it. Uh, well, you can't tell it now. I'll, we'll do a, we'll do some B rolls on that. Um, we've lowered it. We've put some spaces on it. Um, we've done the tint all round. Uh, mm -hmm. We've tinted the headlights and the taillights as well. Um, and I guess the other the other side of it is we've also done, we've also made it sound amazing. Like if you look at the back of it, we'll move it in a second if you want. But if you have a look at the back, the exhaust tips we've done a full Quicksilver exhaust system. Um, it looks pretty mean from the back there. And we've also done the um, the uh, factor. Well, we've also done the um, the secondary. Um, no, sorry. And we've also done the the downpipes as well on this car. So this has got our what we call a, a PAW Motorsport Stage Two tune because Stage Two. I mean, people always ask what these stages mean, but what it means is that that look, Stage One. I think this is important that we talk about this because people always get caught up in whatever stage one, stage two, stage three is, but stage one is basically just a tune. Stage two, we add hardware to it. So when I say hardware, hardware is in um, anything to do with the, with the exhaust system, whether it's um, cat deletes or whatever, right? Not that we do cat deletes here, but <laughs> um, unless it's a race car. Um, but yeah, so anything to do with, with the exhaust system, um, that's what we call a stage two. And then you can, uh, when what we call a stage three is uh, turbo upgrades. So this this has got a five litre supercharged V8. Thing sounds incredible, man. We'll do some B-rolls on that if you want as yeah. well. It sounds amazing. Um, oh, they're both good looking cars, aren't they? Yeah. Um, 
you know, the, the owners of most of these cars have got a supercar as well, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. they drive, they bring their supercars over here, we make them sound better, make them go better, and they say, well, they, every time they jump in there daily, they get bored, you know what I mean? So yeah. we, we end up telling them to come down and, and let's play around with their cars, man. So, yeah. yeah.